Hello, dears, and welcome to Al-Husseini Virtual Lab, Pathology Talks, Tips and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to discuss with you this interesting um, case of central neurocytoma. So this is a 30-year-old female patient who presented uh, with headache and was found to have right lateral ventricular tumor. And first of all, this was sent for a frozen section. And I have to say that our residents and fellows are really extremely skillful in performing the frozen section cytology, whether this is imprints or squash preps. So as you can see that there is this very cellular smear with, if you use some, your imagination, or perhaps if you just focus in a little bit, you can see that there is a vessel here, and I'm going to show you this um, on higher power magnification, as well as some tendency at rosette formation. One important note from low power that the tumor appears to be monotonous. So all the tumor cells from one edge to the other are exactly the same replica of each other. And there is the high power magnification and you can start to see the tendency for rosetting and some perhaps areas here that are a cellular. And on high power magnification, further high power power magnification, these are the thin walled vessels that form what we know um, uh, on section as the chicken wire appearance of the uh, vessels. So this was actually on frozen section reported as consistent with a neurocytoma. Now on the permanent section, as you can see again, almost similar, cellular tumor, very monotonous, all cells are replica of each other, as well as calcification. This was not apparent um, on the initial frozen section. Now on high power magnification, these are the vessels which were seen beautifully on the smears of the frozen section and the cells are really round, monotonous. Um, they just are, uh, every cell is similar to the adjacent cell. No discernible mitotic activity, no necrosis. Other areas are kind of reminiscent uh, uh, of um, oligodendroglioma. But remember, this is a, 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 a lateral ventricular tumor. So oligodendroglioma does not really come high in the uh, differential diagnosis. And again, the fine vasculature that we appreciated on the imprints on frozen section. Very important clue is the presence of what we call a cellular fibrillary zones. So large areas composed only of a neuropel, no uh, a tumor, no large amount of a tumor cells identified. This is an excellent clue that the case is a neurocytoma. Now with the immunostain, the GFAB shows positivity. This is an astrocyte and these are the processes of an astrocyte, another astrocyte and the processes. So what is GFAB is staining actually here as well is the astrocytic framework the base on which the tumor really builds its own structure. So this is not positivity in the tumor cells. The tumor cells are completely negative. These are the astrocytes, the stars that really are, form are the main constituents of the framework of the brain. So how do we interpret this? This is negative in the tumor cells. Synaptophysin, on the other hand, appears to be positive, and it's not only in the background, the tumor cells themselves in the cytoplasm show cytoplasmic positivity, and this is how we interpret uh, the synaptophysin. A new N is a nuclear stain for uh, a neuronal marker for uh, some neurons, and in um, a neurocytoma, it tends to show this focal variable staining, nuclear staining. So it, I would not expect a new end to be strongly positive. If you have it in your labs, it's not usually strongly positive. What you need to know at this stage is that chromogranin is negative in a neurocytoma. So if you apply chromogranin to the tumor cells, synaptophysin would be positive. Chromogranin is typically 
negative. Now, it's extremely important to perform CHI-67 on a neurocytoma cases. Why is that? Because an elevated CHI-67, and the WHO defines it as more than 4%, would uh, suggest a more aggressive or atypical behavior of a neurocytoma. There is one mitotic activity here, and it's around this case would be around the three to four percent that would suggest that this neurocytoma might behave in an aggressive fashion. How would this imply? Uh, what implications would this have on the patient management? Patients with a Typical and the WHO does not use atypical, but you can write it down in the note. Atypical neurocytoma or AT showing atypical neurocytoma features are entitled to receive radiotherapy in order to decrease the chances of recurrence. So, in so to sum up, this the final diagnosis of this case was central in neurocytoma CNS WHO grade. Too. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.